Hi guys, um, yeah, so this is going to be an updated video. Um, it's how to record your audio right off your computer. Um, I'm using Windows Vista, oh shit, I'm not using Windows Vista, I'm using Windows 7. But my previous video was for Vista, which was like a couple years back. So I'm just going to update it, basically. So what you want to do is look for your volume thingy, yep, your volume. And then you right click on it and go to recording devices. By the way, if you don't see it, it's probably because you like dragged it out or something. You probably just dragged it there. So if you don't find it there, just, just drag it back in. You'll see it. So anyways, what you want to do is just right click and show disable devices. Now, um, let's see. Willow 7 Rock, I don't know what's wrong with yours, but for me, like, you just, originally it was like this, so yeah, disconnected or disabled, it doesn't really matter. As long as you find it, then just enable it. If you want, just, you can have both open. So right now, or before, it was on crappy microphone, which was coming from my computer. Um, so now, it's on stereo mix, and that's default now. So, once you choose stereo mix to be enabled, go to whatever, and just go for sound recorder. You could just type it in, or whatever, and it'll be right there. Sound recorder. So, yeah, make sure you press start recording. So, I'm just going to play a tune. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, by the way, you want to make sure you have a high volume if you're recording a song or anything, just by the album. But if you're going to record the song or anything, make sure you have it high level. This is going to be exactly how the audio sounds like. So, I'm going to lower it down a bit, so when we play it again, we'll see the changes of level. I'm going to bring it up again, so it play for a bit, and then down again, yep, and then bring it down. Then once you're done recording everything, just press stop recording, and then just, I don't know, save it anywhere, so, uh, I'm just going to save it in downloads. Um, audio, you know, I'll just save it as Tetra. Tetra. Yeah, so now it's gonna save, and then we can pause that. Now we could just go to whatever, and there it is. So I'm just gonna open the Windows Media Player. So, hey, that's the uh, sound I got. So, yeah. So when we play it, I'm gonna bring it to the a regular audio level, so let's leave it at 50. We can tell if it's, we'll give it a listen and see if, so yeah, right now it just went up, so the volume goes up and down, depending on how you recorded it. And if you just want to put it to, whatever, into your iTunes, just take it, and then just drag it into it. And it's going to ask you to convert it, so go ahead and convert it, just going to quickly do that. It's gonna give you that funny noise, and I have no idea where it is, where it went. So I'm just gonna search Tetra. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the album cover. Don't bullshit me. Um. So yeah. That's that's it. And the only problem is that it's not high quality at at the most. Like, actually, yeah, it's pretty high quality. Whatever. I don't know about you, but if it's low quality, I don't roll like that. I go for 320. But yeah. So yeah. We'll give it a listen, and you'll see the the audio changes. Yeah. So right now it's pretty low, then it's going to go high. Uh, soon, I hope. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. See, now it went high. So yeah, you basically just, just do that. And then if you want to change your stuff about it, just like double-click there. Or, matter of fact, before you even do anything, once you get your actual audio file, just go down to properties, and then you could change it, but right now, I mean, it's used in iTunes, so I can't. So make sure you close down other softwares so you could edit it. So yeah, that's basically it. And yeah, I hope that works. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, but yeah, it's for Windows 7, so goodbye.